Hey, what's up? If you're watching this, you're interested in building a t-shirt business online. Now, I want to make sure that you understand what you're getting yourself into and to lay the proper expectations. To help you do that, there's two kind of hustlers we're going to talk about. There is the get money hustler and there is the legacy hustler. Now, what is the get money hustler? Get money hustler are the people who are out here taking advantage and exploiting the opportunity of, you know, Teespring, um, merch, you know, merch by Amazon. That's all well and good. Essentially, I'm going to put some out into the interwebs. I'm going to make some money. Get money hustler. Nothing wrong with it. Now, let's talk about legacy hustler. Legacy hustler is someone that has a long-term perspective. They're not, they're trying to get money. The get money hustler and the legacy hustler are both trying to do the same thing, but both are trying to do it in vastly different methodologies. I am a legacy hustler. Everything that I do is almost like <clears throat> a Porsche 911. You can look at the very first Porsche 911 and see how the 2016 2017 model was derived from that original model it looks completely different yet you see the lines now everything that i build from an internet marketer standpoint comes from that same place it looks a little different today but the genesis decor is the same now if you're a get money hustler you have no such orientation once again it's not bad it's not horrible. The thing is, as a get money hustler, you're always restarting. You'll do something, it'll work out for a few months, a few years, then boom. I'll give you an example. Uh, when I first started with Conundrum Media, which was the name of the publishing company, which is now Hustlers Kung Fu, I wrote a book and I, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I just knew that a lot of people needed to know how storage auction units storage auctions worked and I knew there was a marketplace but I did not know there was not one two three storage auction shows in development and when I wrote my book I beat those shows by 14 months so I had a very lovely opportunity where I owned the market for virtually two and a half years that's a typical that's not something that I could repeat because there were so many things that came into alignment that made what was already successful even more successful. See, I don't say that I got, quote, lucky. Lucky didn't write a 269 page book. Luck, that had, luck had nothing to do with that. That was applied effort. Now, stemming from that, that a, that a typical situation put me in a get money hustler situation by default because I knew at some point it would be over I had no false assumptions that oh this is going for years I'll be riding this storage auction thing for the next three decades no honestly I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did so that's what happens with your get money hustler and roughly 2012 I had to rebrand and reorient what I'm doing now the thing is, storage auction units, making money with self-storage unit auctions A to Z, was a business book, how to start a business. So that's the core of this channel. What businesses I talk about, what ways we go, especially with this t-shirt business, is different methodology, but the core is the same because you have a business, you have a product, you have a service, and you need customers to buy so said product and service. That never changes. How you make money you sell it you sell more product you increase the times that the customer buys the products these things just don't change so i'm going to design my t-shirt business and you know once again the best way to manage expectations is to properly set them this will not be a get money hustler course it will not be get money hustler information so if that's what you're looking for you know uh there's like i said uh, i think this guy's name is donald he's created this course 
and it's a good course I haven't taken it I'm not endorsing it I'm not slamming it on how to use Facebook ads to sell a lot of t-shirts using the Teespring platform and a lot of people have made a lot of money I'm talking about like 100k a month selling Teespring uh, you know using the Teespring platform selling those shirts but with that said that is not a durable hustle it's going to peter out at some point because as more and more people buy the course as more and more the information becomes diffused as more people use those tactics they therefore become less effective it's just going to happen now let's go with um i can almost see it it, it is just the craziest thing i want to talk about some durable legacies uh legacy hustlers um i can almost see it ed hardy okay that is a durable legacy hustle hustler ed hardy went through many different renditions uh became extremely successful became pedestrianly popular which means you know pedestrianly popular is when it shows up in tj maxx and uh, marshall's and places like that so it went from a very niche very exclusive brand to a pedestrian brand and made billions made billions and ed hardy merchandise is still selling that's a very durable brand now it's not you know doing what it did in the beginning but neither but well actually it could be because you know i haven't researched it i'm just going off the top of my head on this because i know about ed hardy but he could have some things like with ralph Lauren. When I was in the storage auction business, I learned a lot about Ralph Lauren's brand. Purple label, you know, there's brands within brands within brands. So Ed Hardy may have something similar. But, you know, that's another, this is a good example. Uh, Ralph Lauren is an extremely durable brand. It's become iconic. I mean, he'll be dead. I don't think, I think his son married Chelsea Clinton, something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not spreading gossip I think that's he's his son married somebody but essentially Ralph Lauren is like is entered into the same atmosphere as Chanel Hermes uh, Vanderbilt there's just certain brands that are just gonna be around a long long time uh, Hello Kitty extremely durable you know Hello Kitty is not new Hello Kitty was I think developed 1979 that's how long hello kitty has been around 79 80 it, it was one of them but it's been around 30 some years i think 37 once again a durable brand a durable brand now with durable brands it takes time to develop and this is why i'm just saying like look if you're looking for a get money hustle if you're looking for some quick be sure to go to hustlers kung fu life skills.com plenty of stuff there for the get money stuff it's free knock yourself out but if you are that creator someone that wants to build something someone that likes to be creative and is willing to tinker and to explore because just to be clear there will be these videos that I'll do on YouTube and then there will be the videos that I will do in the course I will give numbers I will give screenshots now you know there's, there's questions about what will I talk about I will get down to the nitty-gritty now going back to the first foray you know with Teespring and how all of that stuff didn't really work out that well it is I've learned a lot from the experience when you couple a physical product with a digital product it gives it more presence and it makes it more real many people have a subconscious problem with buying digital products because you know there's some people who need to see touch feel uh, especially older demographic they would like CDs and things like that it's just I don't get enough of demand for me to go through all of those things uh, maybe in the future but essentially many people have a problem because they, they spend this money and they don't really get anything you know you spend money and you go to a concert you got your ticket stub when you spend money or you make a t-shirt or something you, you need that anchor of something physical 
to help you appreciate and validate your expenditure of money. So that's one of the reasons that I'm incorporating the t-shirts because like I said, the nitty gritty, the numbers, the blanks, all of the stuff that I'm going through, uh, dealing with designers, maybe creating a designer resource, uh, creating, you know, networks, opportunities and stuff, all that's gonna be part of the paid course. It's not gonna be on YouTube, but there'll be plenty of what I call stuff that happens in business to talk about on YouTube. We got a friend, you've probably, you've, you've, I actually did the interview with him, his name is Aaron Marino. He has a men's grooming product that he put out a few years ago. And when we were talking, his product made $38,000 the first year, which was not profit. The second year, he did either 180 or one mid, something like that. Something like that, I have to look at it. But the thing is, his first year, and Aaron is a savvy business guy, he understands that things take time. So he didn't trip over the 38 grand because they were building the brand. I bring that to you because typically, if you're like looking for get money hustle stuff, you're go you won't want this course. Uh, you're gonna be disappointed because you're looking for some that you can go out and sprinkle some hustle dust on something and make some money instantly. That's not this kind of course. This is more for people who want to build a durable legacy type hustle. Someone who is, maybe you've got this brand that you created and you just haven't been able to figure out how to push it out there. Uh, maybe you need to redo the brand. We're going to talk a lot about branding. We're going to talk a lot, a lot about marketing because from writing my book, and you know, I put this out in one of the writing groups that I was a member of before everyone just got mad at me. Writing a book is 10% of the book's success. And I know many people will disagree with me. That's like, well, writing a book has everything to do with success. No, writing a book is 10%, which is hard, which is going to take a lot out of you. But marketing is 90% of the success of the book. Now, or anything. And when we talk about marketing, if a friend reads the book and recommends that book to another friend that's marketing it's called word of mouth but it's still it's called a referral it's referrals it's still marketing you still need it and you need enough push to get your book into enough hands for the referral engine to start working which still takes marketing so those just some of the stuff we're talking about and just some of the things that I wanted to put out to people to let people know for people to understand what's going down how we're doing this so you don't come in with the wrong set of expectations because as uh, I go through these designs and a lot of stuff's gonna happen this isn't gonna happen overnight so you already have a platform and already have an email list and already have some attention I don't have as much attention as I would like but I have some attention so I can make some sales so with that said we're going to need to actually put out information that is going to help you appreciate and really dig deep in you to create your brand now once again there's all kind of hacks out there there are all kinds of um, tactics, you know, there's, because the get money hustler is closely aligned with the tactical hustler. And when I say tactical, I'm not talking about military strategy. I'm talking about someone, let's go back to the Facebook affinity group, T Teespring methodology of selling t-shirts. That's a tactic. It works. It works. There are people who made millions using that tactic. However, once again, as a get money hustler or a tactical driven hustler, you're always restarting. A better thing would be able to you know, maybe have a tactic while you're working on something durable because, see, this is the thing that's going to happen. You're going to get to a point where you're not going to want to hustle like that all the time. I still hustle much harder than the average person, but my level of hustle is nothing compared to my level of hustle, what my hustle used to be. I mean, my hustle was like on steroids. 
and this is the dial down hustle because once you build some things you don't have to hustle that hard you can start to think about strategy and you can sit back and you can take you know the time that's needed you should still have a sense of urgency don't get it misconstrued that you shouldn't have a sense of urgency you should you should still have a sense of urgency but you should also have some strategy and work your thing in a manner that you're you know uh, just to be succinct have a get money hustle to pay the bills to pay the mortgage pay the car payment to put food on the table and then have a durable hustle that you're working on that once you get it built and give, give you a good example of Marie Folio she has this thing that's called B school I think she's been selling it since 2010 I'm not sure but every year she opens it up and makes millions of dollars you know I'm quite sure the product you know because Marie is like a super savvy operator I'm quite sure the product is you know updated and she brings stuff in but she has created a hustle a durable legacy hustle that is a community because B school alums work together and they do business with each other so it's a really really nice thing that she's built but see the thing is is built and it's kind of like when the airplane takes off an airplane uses a phenomenal amount of food <laughs> a phenomenal amount of fuel yeah I'm hungry a phenomenal amount of fuel to take off but once it's up doesn't take that much fuel so once your hustle reaches a certain level you'll still have to use effort but it's almost as if it goes on autopilot um, or yeah it's almost like it goes on autopilot it doesn't take as much effort you are operating at a higher level you're making more money but you're not working as hard and the equity the sweat equity that goes into building the brand all of those months weeks possibly years where you weren't making that much money you're paying your dues you see this over and over in business you see this all over the place and that's one of the things that I want to bring to this course with a very stunning level of reality because once again I'm in a lot of Facebook groups and I see a lot of people and I know what they're doing I know how much they're spending and I know their real tactics and no I'm not gonna name names and don't email me asking me who because that information is not gonna benefit you because if you're not in action if you're not in motion, if you're not making something happening, knowing who, what, why, and when of what they're doing doesn't benefit you because you're not in the war. You're not out here fighting. You're not in the, you're not hustling. You're just on the corner with a deep desire to get in, but you're kind of waiting for the perfect opportunity. And I can tell you, there is no perfect opportunity. You have to make the perfect opportunity. Going back to the storage auction book. If I didn't write that book, none of this would have happened. None of it. None of it would have happened if I didn't write that book. The book was the reason. So whatever things that you have in your mind, things that you want to hustle on, just start putting it out there. You know, Just a little reminder to everyone about what's going on with this course, how we're going to do it. Uh, I don't really expect a lot of people to take this course I know it sounds crazy because a lot of people don't want to work that hard but if I can get a good 50 well actually it's gonna be more than that because if you're a member of hustlers kung fu dojo you automatically get this course you know uh, we're sending out emails and everybody should by tomorrow be included that's paid their monthly fee because every you know every time every day we go through people who cancel then you know that's where they stop they're not going to get the new stuff so you know yeah, if you sign up with hustlers kung fu dojo it's 150 bucks a month each month there's a new course or courses whatever happens that month that you subscribe you get you get to keep and yeah that that's the best deal so for those folks who already signed up and you know once again this is probably going to go up but if you want to get in, the time to get in is now because it started off at 39, then it went to 49, then it jumped up to 99.99, now it's 150. And because as I add more value to the platform, and I'll talk about this 
and you know, in Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo about what I'm doing and how you can do it too. Because the thing is, you need to have a lot of different business models operating in your platform. It really helps out tremendously with keeping your stress level down, keeping your income high, and pushing forward your business agenda. It really, really helps. I mean, seriously, it just does. So I'll just you know talk about a lot of that stuff in the dojo. And if you want to subscribe to the dojo, links below. Be sure to get in and uh, we'll hook you up.